Okay, YouTube. I'm going to do this real quietly here. This does get warm when you run in a while. I probably run it 15 minutes. Bearings get hot, bearings get frictions, bearing puts load on a motor. I can run that motor and it doesn't spark. Just well, it sparks, it doesn't spark like it does with, with it running. This is getting old. I crossed the numbers of these. An SKS bearing, I don't mean that's what this is, because there's a difference on the end of the number, where it says whether they're sealed or not. These do have the rubber seals on them, at least on the outside. I know I want better bearings. There's no place I decide. I've done that. I even tapped it with the palm of my hand. And check the snap ring over on the side, see if anything moved. See if it, the shaft moved on the inside of the bearing. I didn't hit over here on the chuck. But I did tap it this way. Pretty severely with a glove on. And I want it. I mean, I shook the whole table like that. Pull it this way, and I don't feel any play. And I don't feel any play this way. I mean, I had even a hold of it pretty good. That's too noisy for me. Oh well. Creepy sound is the motor down there that that's the motor cutting in and out right there. Bring up a little more speed. This motor can't drive a toy RC car down the street. There is. You gotta hear it when it's no load on it. Okay, that's 22 millimeters. This is 44. That's two to one advantage. Okay, we're gonna take the bell off so you can hear what the motor sounds like. That 
Crazy sounds in the motor. Funny and squeaky. Thanks for watching.